is one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Once again, Ladies here is the gentlemen, veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Lee. The evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 164 pounds. Fighting out of Lindenhurst, New York, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! I grant the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Nice body shot. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice move to the Just what he needed there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. 
Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice. Oh. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Lunges forward with a left there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. What a body kick. Ooh, big shot lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He blocks the shot. Kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Came of inches right there, there boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. He is all about that left kick to the body. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? A swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee's nose is cut, and it is bleeding. The taller fighter in this instance, it most certainly did. Well, he continues to do a nice job. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he wants to try to chase down that big. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got a bad. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Sound strike on the ground. 15 seconds. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Switching stances here. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Recover, shake it off. That round doesn't matter. We're gonna move forward this round and really put the... You ready? Second round underway. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo yet, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 
Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to... Wow. Oh, there we go. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love a grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Nice punch lands over the top. And there comes the separation now. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Nice knee to the body by Lee. Big punch land. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice one-two there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the former start to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Straight right, he misses. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. 20 seconds left. Came on inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big body kick lands. 10, Ten minutes in the, the books. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kicks, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something 
or this fight is Ready? going to continue to go down the same path. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. That I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Kick blocked by Lee. Oh, big head kick there. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick lands. Another big leg kick lands. That strike blocked by Lee. A nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Just over three minutes to go in round three. Nice punch lands over the top. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Not there. Beautiful strike. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. Here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Flips the punch nicely there. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. What a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. That punch, no good. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, that kick is good by Lee. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Great punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Punch over the top. Oh, nice. Oh, man, that cut 
not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Countering with the jab here, but he saw it come a mile away. Nice job there to block it by Liz. Nice punch here. Big body here. Well placed kick there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Good stick. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. That's it, that's it. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Luke. Yeah. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order it. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head. And now he has to find one more strike to end the night. It's such a fast leg kick. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. That's a big strike right there. Visibly limping here. Takedown defense holds up. He lands a big knee to the body. Looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Good punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big head kick lands. Back and forth we go! Just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 18 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bazooka! Oh, there he is.
is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go in the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.